gonna get off Steve Urkel's wife, man. It's too late, too. <laughs> like, like, yo, I done did so much, and it's too late. I can't even apologize, man. Why y'all let me do all that, and now I can't even apologize, man? I don't went so far where it's like an apology ain't going. If I see Steve Urkel in the street, I can't be like, hey, man, bro, man, I was just joking, man. I can't even, I can't even piece it up now, man. Y'all don't let me go too far. He ain't gonna be trying to hear that shit. He ain't gonna be trying to hear. He ain't gonna be trying to let me hear that. He ain't gonna be trying to hear that shit. Steve Urkel gonna be like, man, fuck that, man. Throw them things, man. Put them up, nigga. He said nobody care about your wife. Get to the news. Mm, damn. Damn, baby king. Shit. Nobody care. Well, that's good, though. I am happy about that. I don't want y'all caring about my wife, man. Just care about me, man. Care about me, man. God, dog. Whoo. That's a rough looking sister, man. Um, salute to um we we need to get to this. Uh, we got a blackface crisis going on, man, in America, man. Blackface is out of control, man. It's the biggest story in the black community, man. This is the biggest challenge facing the black community right now, man. Do you believe? Do you believe this, man? We need a blackface bill, man. <laughs> Salute to Couch Merlot, man. He says, salute to the men who stand by their women. That sound like that sound like a, a super chat from somebody that got an ugly wife. Couch Merlot, damn, Couch Merlot. Tell us you got an ugly wife without telling us you got an ugly wife, man. Yeah, damn. He said, he said, salute to the men who stand by their women. He said that shit all defiant and shit. He said he 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 super chatted that with an attitude, man. God damn, man. I got right, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I ain't need to make fun of ugly wives, man. Niggas motherfuckers getting offended now because they got everybody with an ugly wife getting offended. Listen, man. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize, man. Next person, listen. Next person, next, next, um, next ugly, next person with an ugly wife that I see, man. We want um we gonna find some good attributes about her. We gonna we only we only gonna talk about the positives and shit. Okay, Gouch Merlot says I'm a 71 year old woman. Okay, shout out to Gouch Merlot, man. Okay, so you so 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 Gouch Merlot, man. Um, she she if if I was if I was if Gauss Malo was right here she'd be she she'd grab me by my ear and twist my ear, or she'd pinch me and shit. Be like that's not nice. Like oh shit. Be like sorry, goddamn sorry, Gauss Malo. I, I ain't mean to. Say. She'd be like, I want you to write write Miss Urkel a letter right now. Write Miss Urkel a note apologizing. <laughs> Like gouch below, man. They got they got email now, man. They got Twitter. You ain't gotta write notes on paper no more. You know that, right? Gouch below. She be like, no, write a handwritten note to Miss Urkel and tell her that you're sorry. Damn, man. Salute to everybody out there, man. Um Listen, when I'm in, when we go to Philly, man, I'm grading with a curve, man. I'm grading with a curve, man. Philly is like, I'm like a teacher 
um, grading black students when I go to Philly. Press one, man. When we go to Philly, I'm like a teacher grading his black students. I'm grading with a curve, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> yo, man. But yeah, man, blackface is the biggest issue facing black America today. And I know many of y'all thought it was monkey sounds, right? Gone are the days when monkey sounds were the biggest issue facing blacks in America. Today, there's a new, there's a new issue. But it's not so new. Blackface, man. Goddamn blackface, man. So two teenage boys, man. Think about what their teenage boys be doing and what our teenage boys be doing. <laughs> yo. Think about this, yo. Think about what our teenage boys don't get in trouble for and think about what their teenage boys do get in trouble for press one think about what their teenage boys get in trouble for and what our teenage boys don't get in trouble for god you talk about a bizarro world you talk about a fucking upside down universe. <laughs> God dog. <laughs> white dude, white white boy, white white teens be getting in trouble for making monkey noises and wearing acne masks and shit. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't believe y'all let me spend 50 minutes on Urkel's wife. Y'all ain't shit, man. We need um two more contributors, man, to drop the link, man. Two more contributors to drop the link. I can't believe y'all let me spend 50 minutes on Urkel's wife. And I wasn't even part of the show. I didn't even have that plan, man. Y'all ain't shit. Um, two teenage boys sue exclusive Catholic school for $20 million. Claiming photo of them in blackface, which saw them forced out by leadership, was actually green acne medication. Listen, man. If you a white, if you a white, young white man out here, not only can you not carjack people, not only can you not make drill music, kill people and, and make videos about it. Not only can you not do smashing grabs, not only can you not fucking punch black women in Times Square <laughs> randomly and shit. Not only can you play the not play the knockout game. Not only can you um not uh tear up fucking malls and movie theaters and shit like that. Not only do you have to be on a curfew and shit in every major city. Think about this. White kids got to be in the house at fucking 10 o'clock and shit. Because <laughs> of what little, little Negro children are doing. You would think that would be bad enough, man. You would think it would be bad enough that white kids got to be in the house at 10 o'clock on the weekend because of the shit little Negro children be doing. Salute to, um, salute to Mark Ishmael, man, and Ike Wachu and Hawker. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to Eric S. Ock Nation Hall of Famer coming through once again. Shout out to... Deluxe 247, a.k.a. Kyle Ripken, a.k.a. The Real MVP. 
coming through once again. Let me drop this link, man. Um, listen, man. Listen, man. We got white kids. This this is fucked up, man. We got little white kids having to be in the house at 10 o'clock on the weekend, having to take their mother with them to the mall. <laughs> little white kids got to take their mother with them to the mall, man, and to the movie theater, man, because because of black kids, and if, you know, the policy for black kids and shit. And on top of that, on top of that, if they make monkey sounds for three seconds, if they put on some green acne mask, <laughs> they getting kicked out of school. Yo, we ain't, yo, we, yo, we are fucking, we are a handful, man. Yo, yo, we a lot to deal with, man. Salute. I'm going to give you gliders. One thing, I'm going to say this about gliders, man. Y'all are, y'all are, um, Y'all doing a yeoman's job, man, dealing with us, man. <laughs> Y'all doing a yeoman's job dealing with us, man. God, dog, man. We require, we require you to, you gotta, you gotta bend over backwards, man, to deal with us, man. Shit. God. Oh man, salute to everybody out there. Man, everyone hit the like button as well, man. Smash that like button, man. Smash that like button, man. Um, God damn. Yeah, it can't be easy, man. I'm, 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 my, I'm. Tip my cap to y'all, <laughs> man. I tip my cap to y'all, man. I don't know how y'all do it, man. Could you imagine being a white parent? You done had to move and shit. Think about think about the parents, y'all. So you're a white parent. And the town you grew up in, the safe, all-American town you grew up in, now niggas is there and shit, right? So you got to first move your kid out of the school, put them in private school. That's $30,000, $40,000 a year, right? Because this is these kids go to a private school. These go, kids go to an exclusive private school. You got to move your kids out, spend $30,000, $40,000, right? Then you got to move out to the suburbs, man, buy a new house. You know what I'm saying? Uproot your family and shit, right? Move to the suburbs, man. So that's a that's another expenditure, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to sell your house, short sell that motherfucker too, man. Because the way these niggas is, you got you can't you can't put that shit on the market. You got to short sell that motherfucker. First, first buyer, man. Shit, man. Ooh. Then you got a motherfucking, and then you you gotta buy all type of um, anti theft. You you gotta get your car um, specked out, man. You, your your car gotta have all the safety features, man. Um, then you gotta have insurance, um, full coverage, cause you know some man steal your car, wrap it around a lamppost. You need insurance for that, man. Right. So you gotta do all this shit, man make all these expenditures man you can't even shop at the you can't even go to the mall you went to you got to go to the to the mall way out way out and shit you can't even go to fucking six flags and shit you gotta find you gotta find things that black people don't like to do <laughs> we call white people corny but really white people we try to say white people weird look at the stuff they do they corny look what they do White people ain't really corny. They just trying to find stuff that black people don't like to do, man. <laughs> so they can go do it and be safe. Press one. We like man, white people be skinned. Yeah, the only reason white people white people would love to just go to the ball and walk around, man. 
White people would love to go to the park and fucking just chill at the park, man. White people would love to go to the basketball court, man, and fucking play ball, man. They got to find shit that niggas don't like to do, man. Is that why gliders swim with sharks and shit like that? Huh? Is that why the gliders swim with sharks and, sh- and crazy shit Yeah, like that? they be doing all type of shit. They like, man, ain't no way a sun man gonna get here, man. They, 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 they trying to find things that black black people don't like to do, man. And 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 think about it, swimming with sharks is safer than being around black people, man. <laughs> right, so, right. So you got all that, right? You got all that, and then on top of that. Your kids get kicked out of school for putting on a green acne mask. Your kids get kicked out of school for going ooh, ooh, ooh to some black girl that's cussing them out and calling them white boys and crackers and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mean, mean, meanwhile, you have some kids beating on other students and staff. You can't suspend them, though. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Unbelievable, man. I mean, that's why I say I give white people my hats off to y'all, man. Like, no no bullshit. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny, man. Like, it's a lot to deal with, man. I know it's a lot to deal with, man. Um, This kid, so these kids... The students and their parents launched the lawsuit against St. Francis High School in Mountain View, California, after the image sparked outrage last year. They say the school offered them an ultimatum to leave or be expelled. (laughs) The school says the teens left voluntarily in June after the 2014 image resurfaced. So these kids, this didn't even happen while these kids were in high school. This is a, this image is from 2014. Wow. <laughs> so so <laughs> so these guys can't run for office. They can't be a judge. They can't be. They're done. They're, uh, yo, listen. Would you want like think about this? Would you want to waste, say you're a donor, right? And you want to put some money behind a political campaign. You're wasting your money because eventually this is going to come out. And when this comes out, there ain't no way in hell they win. Well, look, I I only hope that if I have to kill somebody one day, that these guys are my judge. So they could toss my uh, (laughs) conviction. Yeah, man. Because they're obviously racist. That's why I got convicted. Because the judge, you know, blackface. Yeah, man. Um, I, I don't. Yeah, definitely. If they convict you, yeah, you definitely gonna have to. Hey, listen, man. I will say this though. I don't even think these guys can be a cop. I don't think they can be a teacher. Where can this guy teach? Where can these kids yeah. teach? Though, to be honest. Utah, maybe somewhere in Utah. Nah, Utah's changing, man. Did you see the school board in Salt Lake City? We did a I video on that, man. I could imagine. Oh my god, man. Um well, they he had be, taken they, what? they can't be cops because anyone they they can't they could be cops, but they can't arrest Sun Man. And you know how that goes. But hey, if you if you a cop, man, and you can't arrest Sun Man, the fuck you ain't I mean, what are you doing, man? You on the clock, you see, you fucking low. I mean, like, Easiest job ever. Easiest job ever. Like, seriously, man. If, if you was a cop and you couldn't arrest Sun Man, like, that's stealing, man. Shit. If, if you was a cop and you couldn't arrest Sun Man, like, that's stealing, man. Shit, man. Um, you clock, you, oh, you, you could clock in. Yeah. And then just. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. They, you ever see might, that they, meme? They, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Homo yo, Simpson's might, dad and shit. Yo, they might arrest you for stealing. Yeah, man. Yo, this is, yo, man. 
It said he had taken a pic with a white face mask a day prior and a green one. It adds, the boys say a photograph of this innocent event was plucked from obscurity and grossly mischaracterized during the height of the nationwide social unrest. The school's president said St. Francis High School is committed to creating an educational environment where all students feel safe, welcome, and included. And guess what? The students that 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 I guess were uh, let's just he even if it was all white school, they still would have kicked them out. But let's just say there's some I'm sure there's some black students in the school, right? Those students are only in there because they lowered the standards for them. <laughs> so you got you got kids that like literally like got in because of lower standards that you're kicking these kids and, and those kids are in on scholarships like they not paying a dime those black kids at those yeah. schools they don't pay nothing you, you got to understand dog they they the sisters may be taking l's to the brothers but the sisters handing out l's everywhere else they yeah, will I'm they will they, will they will they will give this school hell if they don't do something about it yeah, definitely. They'll be calling and shit like that. Yeah. Um, this is this is god damn man. Wow. Wow. A green mask and a white mask. You can't even you can't even do white face, man. <laughs> we got y'all by the balls, man. Um this is fucked up, man. Um let's see what else is going on. Um so we got uh um you know I, I'm kind I'm kind of excited I uh, to see this backlash like at some point the glass are going to have to put their foot down I'm curious to what that's going to look like you know Yo I I saw that thing somebody told me this, to 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 um watch this 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 video called the hens and the duck Somebody told me that, the, and I listened to that today, man. And the hens and the duck, I forgot what it's called. The fable of the hens and the duck. Man, that shit was on point, man. That shit perfectly encapsulated what's going on in the world today. I know you've seen that one, right, Fisherman? But yeah, anyway, what is man. It? What is it? It's, it's, the, um, I had I watched it earlier. I'm trying to see if I still got it up. The hens in the duck. What is that? Um, somebody, somebody who um knows it. Um, the hens in the duck or some shit like that. It's a um, it's a fable. It's a it's it's a very well written um fable. And it talks about basically it's talking about like how the juice crew was running America and shit. But it's the the the, the um the whites are um ducks and the juice crew are chickens, hens or whatever. And um Yo. yeah, what's up? And, and it's there's no there's no hope, man. There's no hope, man. I, I don't know if a backlash is coming, man. I don't know if a backlash is coming, oh, wow. man, this time. Wow. No, listen, because because here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is we're, we're we're in the midst of a backlash. That this all you don't, you're not seeing all this anti-Semitism everywhere. You didn't yeah, see but, Kanye and Kyrie last year, and now the college campuses, and then the, the, the that's different know? though. That's different though. This there, there, this anti-Jewish crew. It's different than what we're referring but to. You you can't get to the sun, man, without getting to the juice crew. Yeah, but what I'm saying though is the, these weirdos are talking shit about them for the wrong reasons, or, or not the reason that we're talking about, right? These liberals are they're they're, they're a problem in of themselves. They're they're, no, they're I, protest. You know what I'm trying to say? No, I got you. I got you. But still, it's like it. And, and and then somebody said not um non-engagement. You can't non-engage some people, man, in America, man. You can't non-engage us, man. What you talking about, man? Nah, nah, it don't work that way, bro. Nah, it don't work that way. But the some yeah. some men you some men you gotta go 
got to go head on, man. They, yeah, they you got go ahead. I, I mean, if, if you don't, they're just gonna do they're not, not they just they're just gonna do, period, you know. You got to give us your free stuff too, man. Like we we require free stuff, so it's like if you got some stuff, man, we coming to get that shit. For you. Yeah, not non engagement means uh, reparations and the and the uh, payments are like five million for each son <laughs> man, bro. That's what non engagement is, bro. More free shit, uh, complete silence on any uh behavior. No matter how heinous and antisocial it is, and uh, we get to say whatever about anybody else, you can't you can't do nothing about it. Yeah. It, oh it, yeah, it, and it's, uh, it's tough. and uh, even lower standards for any uh, uh, institution, uh, institution or any position of power, bro. Yeah. Non engagement, man. That's that's not gonna work, man. Um, uh, let's see, uh. So this right here is um this teen right her half black face makeup tutorial on TikTok is sparking outrage. <laughs> so this white girl's in trouble now, man. Um, think about that, man. Think about all the shit that young sisters do every day, and this is this girl's in trouble, man. <laughs> She's in trouble for this, man. Um, yikes, man. Um. You would think that black people um, were um, self-conscious about their skin the way they acted, man. I thought we was proud. We should be like, yeah, man. That's white, man. Black skin, man. Brown skin. That's right. Maybe they're projecting again. <laughs> bro, we know, bro, we know from from all these sun countries that, that had this problem with skin bleaching cream, bro, that sons are very self-conscious about their... Uh, the skin coat. Yeah, facts, facts. When they say, "Oh, y'all haters because of our skin," what they really saying is, "We haters because of our skin." Maybe in a way, I don't know. Oh yeah, without a the doubt, skin thing is a major. It's a major thing, bro. It's a major thing. Every every um sun country, every yeah. sun country, yep. they do that. My grandmother was uh. When she was alive, she used to bleach her skin, bro. She from the Caribbean. Yeah, it's heavy down there, man. They be looking weird. They be looking like fucking ghosts and shit. shit yeah, that, that shit was weird because she was like, a, she probably was darker than you, but then she, yeah, man. <laughs> I, I never heard of no. Brito's doing that. You know what I mean? I, maybe they have. Nah, on Brito's do that. On Brito's do that, but but they they do it in the, in the, in their countries like. Um, but the, yeah, yeah, like the Chicanos will probably do it. You know what I'm saying? Like yep. you, you like, like, like Wicked, your your kind. Even though you you look like an Ombrito, you you not like a Chicano. So it's like you might not do that, but like a, Ch a Chicano, one of those motherfuckers like a, that look like a Sandy yeah. the, the, the five foot, the five foot. <laughs> No, nah, not, not talking. I'm not even talking about the black Hispanics. I'm talking about like oh, okay. talking about the, the, the Indians, the Indians yeah. that are. Um, let me let me pull up a Chicano man. The, the, the Omegs. You talking about the Omegs? Now nah, they be these ones. Let me see if I can um, show it um, what they look like. Um, yeah, they look like Aztecs, right? <laughs> like they just finished sacrificing them. <laughs> right? Yeah, like. They just they brown and shit. The, the, they really brown. But, and but even then, even them though, I never heard them. Okay, you never heard of it. Like, okay, nah, yeah, it, I can see that. It was, yeah, it was just you, just you, just you, you just are. You know, you just dark. That's it. Really, you know. Okay. Yeah, y'all kind of proud. Y'all got a little proud. But this, this this girl's in trouble, man. So this girl, this girl is in hot water, man. She she done fucked up now, man. Um, it says um. It says, whoa, god damn. Um, it says, teens half black face makeup tutorial on TikTok sparks outrage. If it seems like blackface, it probably is. A 16-year-old aspiring makeup influencer who goes by 
Kathari. Yo, they doxed the 16 year old. Damn. Usually they'd be like, she's a minor, so we're not gonna put her name. They put her whole name, her whole shit out there. Katharina's beauty on TikTok is facing backlash online after posting a blackface video. Apparently, in an effort to promote racial unity that ultimately went awfully awry. The since deleted clip, which has more than 1.1 million views since it was reposted on Twitter, shows the Austrian teen applying dark colored makeup to half her face and neck with the two sides separated by a melting pattern. The tone deaf tutorial is set to This is America by Childish Gambino, a.k.a. Donald Glover. This is this TikTok just ended racism, tweets Siraj Hashmi of the Washington Examiner to his 54,000 followers. In a separate tweet, he adds, I've seen a lot of performative virtue signaling done on social media in the last few days. This has to be by far one of the worst things I've seen. So an uh, Indian, an uh, Indian, like set it off on her. Um, in a subsequent video, Katharina's beauty apologizes for the post writing in German. I deleted the video in the picture, and I hope you can forgive me. She's also reportedly issued multiple apologies, claiming she didn't know what blackface was or its offensive traditions. <laughs> yeah, because she's German. I only wanted to send a message against racism, but I did it wrong, she writes on Instagram. I'm only 16, and I have to learn much more about world history. Yeah, 16, schmixteen. You fuck. You done. <laughs> right, right. Yo, the hey, fact yo, that I, me... she, she dropped half of her credit score at all. God damn. The, the fact that they dodged her, but they won't name murders because they're juvies is fucking incredible the fact that black folk won't turn in murderers of children that are riding their bikes up and down the street every day in their neighborhoods is crazy well, to be fair he's only a baby <laughs> Yo, so now you got another kind of blackface guys digital blackface Okay, so now there's digital blackface that you got to deal with, man. Um, we need to talk about digital blackface in reaction gifts. So, black people are we like we circling y'all? It's like it's like we circling the wagons, <laughs> yo. <right>. It's like <laughs> it's like yo. <laughs> You know, like with them rape, them rape gangs when they, they just like, yeah, with me. yeah, like last night, uh, I was saying that's why I ain't think it was a, a Sandman, bro. It was a one, yeah. it was a solo dolo rape. You know, they do the, they take the bitch to the woods, and next thing you really? know, it's like fifteen other Sandman, and then they do that that ritualistic uh, rape circle and shit. Digital blackface, man. Um. We on y'all ass, man. Like, it, at some point, they might call the fight. Y'all talk about a backlash. How you going to backlash when the, they gonna, they going to call the fight? You going to be like, they going to throw the towel and you know, backlash. Hey, Sniper, you're killing them. <laughs> if Miss Cornica does get too close, you know what I'm going to do? Here, hold my hot Cheetos. Now, what? in the white supremacy is this. Today's baggage, digital blackface. This is digital blackface. It's a problematic phenomena that you no doubt have seen and perhaps have even been guilty of. It's when non-black people attempt to recreate blackness online. The term was popularized by Professor Laura Michelle Jackson in a Teen Vogue op-ed she wrote in 2017. She was pretty much calling out the excessive use of black gifts and memes to express extreme emotion. So if a white person uses this gift to show excitement, 
or this gift to show disappointment, they are guilty of digital blackface. Wow. Wow. It's all just women. Oh, it's just women but, running their mouth over dumb shit. I'm surprised Fisherman is not taking this seriously, man. It's like, <laughs> no, it's, I don't. I don't take hard. women serious at all. No, but, but what I'm saying, it starts with this, right? It starts with gay saying we just want to get married in 2015, and then then it ends with what we have now, 2024. <laughs> we just want to get married. All we want is the right to buy a cake, you know, what I'm saying and get married. Mm. Remember that? Do you remember yeah. that fisherman? That's all they wanted was to get married. Yeah, but I mean, we shouldn't take these people serious. We should just ignore them. Bro, we should do a lot of things. Bro, <laughs> right. Bro, some people could just call anything white supremacy, like just literally anything, bro. Yeah, it's a power move. This is how sons, you know, gain access to stuff they would never build. So social media is horrible for the sun psyche because sun people are so petty. Yeah, man. They can't handle it. It's just a constant ability to shit talk people all day. That's just like suns trapped in their tornado. Bro, this is like us in our element. You get to yeah. just talk yeah. shit, make anything up, uh but, fucking just crack jokes on people all day. This is our element, bro. But but you know what, dude? Uh this does bring a good point up in that the sun memes are funny. They are, man. Like the one lady, like getting up from her chair. That shit is funny as fuck. Wow. You know yeah, what I'm but we 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 don't like when white people are having a good time. Like white people <laughs> being happy. No, seriously, white people being happy is like it 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 is it's, it's it's not. We can't we can't like. And be happy when y'all are happy. We can only be happy when y'all are sad. So it's like when we see y'all having a good time, we gotta shut that shit down. We gotta call it, we gotta call yeah. it white supremacy. Yeah, especially if y'all having fun, like you know what I'm saying, publicly and shit. Like it's one thing for y'all to be in Aspen and we ain't gotta see y'all skiing and shit, or do y'all be at uh Lollapalooza and shit and we ain't gotta see that shit. But y'all like when Taylor Swift is at the game that's being televised on NBC swag surfing. Oh hell no, nah. fuck that shit. <laughs> to express extreme emotion. So if a white person uses this gift to show excitement or this gift to show disappointment, they are guilty of digital blackface. Before we get any deeper into the cyber world, here's a crash course on blackface in real life. Blackface first emerged in the United States around the 1830s. White performance artists would darken their skin by using burnt cork and replicate stereotypically black behaviors. Blackface was carried into modern times, popping up in movies. Wait, they would kill people? <laughs> what the fuck? So they were look- carjacking? <laughs> Buggy, horse and buggy jacket. <laughs> Black behaviors. Blackface was carried into modern times, popping up in movies and on television. And let's not forget the racists who wear blackface for Halloween. Fast forward to the information age and digital blackface is all over the internet. But while you might have seen digital blackface via text on Facebook or Twitter, there's something particularly troubling about digital blackface on TikTok. With nearly half of its global users under 34 and the platform's ability to combine photo, video, and effects, the bigotry hits different. So digital blackface actually grew out of actual blackface, which was a practice that was happening in theaters and entertainment in the mid 1800s, early 1900s. It's grown over the years into something more perverse and something more uh, disturbing that you see across TikTok, you see across Twitter, you see across Instagram, where you have young white kids taking on what they assume to be black identity, whether it's slang, whether it's dress, whether it's music, um, and they're perverting it and they're twisting it in their own sort of unique ways. Jason Parham is a senior writer at Wired Magazine covering pop culture. He did a deep dive into the world of TikTok. 
a platform Parham says is custom made for digital blackface. TikTok, you know, it enables its creators with this suite of editing tools that, you know, a director might use to shoot an actual feature film. And so it, it's different in the sense that creators can now embody almost these sort of Yo, so they're saying because of all the, all the features that TikTok allows you, is literally like, a bad thing because it can be used for digital blackface. Wow. That is absolutely positively like narcissistically insane, man. Wow. Salute to everybody out there. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you take the $5 challenge via PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat. Support the channel. Support the damn channel. PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat. Expressions and what they assume is black identity. One, two, three, four. And you kind of must hear not a lot of shit. But that is, that, he, he, got, he nailed it, though. That's how we talk. What the <laughs> fuck? Talk. Why we gotta act like this nigga not on point? <laughs> he nailed that shit. <laughs> One, two, three, all. And you kind of musty are not allowed to shower either. Like, girl, this is not okay. They can sort of uh, pervert it and make it their she own. Sucked. She sucked. That was not good. And in these really fascinating, interesting ways that they couldn't before. And it's really specific to TikTok because TikTok's community sort of engenders this idea of competition and virality. And so one person starts to do it and another person starts to do it. And then it just balloons into this huge thing where it's like, oh, you know, everybody's doing it, but you know, it, it's not okay in that sense. As of August. So anything that could possibly be used for blackface has to be monitored or shut down. That's crazy. Bro, this shows you what type of... If Sons, even, if Sons had a high enough IQ to build any semblance of a functioning society, that shit would suck, bro. <laughs> for if, Especially for <laughs> white people, bro. Like, you wouldn't be able to do anything that made Sons irritated or... Like you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to say anything about some people, bro. And if it irritated one of us, you wouldn't be able to do it. It wouldn't be like oh a consensus. It wouldn't have to be a majority or a certain amount. If one son anywhere was like nah, y'all be. That's why I told you, man. Listen, man. If 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 sons ran the country. All glider toilets will have brackish water in it. You ain't shitting in no clean water. We ain't wasting no clean water for you to shit in. Your water in your tub going to be, I mean, in your toilet going to be brackish, man. You ain't getting no motherfucking hot water just coming out your fucking faucet 24 hours a day. It's going to be like a limit on that shit. You could have hot water for one hour a day. You better take your shower during that hour, motherfucker. We not wasting no good shit on you. You crazy. Y'all motherfuckers just don't understand, man. Yeah, they, don't, they don't get it, bro. I think you guys would just, like, eliminate us, to be honest. Bro. We... Nah, I mean, y'all y'all do serve a purpose. Y'all create shit, like... I don't know. You know what? We might be so fucking like um, primal. Like stupid. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. Like, like it, it would be like this. There would be like one out of ten sons would be awk, and you would be like, "Oh shit, we can't kill the like like the gliders and the juice crew, or else we're gonna turn into Planet of the Apes." But you'd be overwhelmed by the rest of the sons, and then they'd fucking kill you, and then yeah, the gliders. Would, yeah, they would get you out of the paint first. Yeah. <laughs> And Actually, they, you'd be like the worst. You'd be even worse than the glider because they'd see you as like, like a despicable traitor son, man. They get rid witch. of you. I'd be a witch. Yeah, yeah. They get even. They get rid of you quick. Yeah, my sister said uh, the coons is worse than the white people. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. They always they, say that. Yep. 
you you'd keep like the women, but you get rid of the glider men. And, and, oh yeah, and no, the, the glider chicks. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Because you. <laughs> you have to understand, like in the Sun Man's mind, he thinks he's a master race. Yeah. Yeah, you hear them online. They be like, yeah, you know, all we need, we don't need the black woman. We, we, we just need any race, you know, and yeah. black. It's, it's like the, I've heard that shit. We gotta start a whole new community with yeah. a Chinese woman, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I like yeah, the ones yeah. where it's like Latinas belong to Sun Men, <laughs> Asian women belong to yeah. Sun, and then it's just like this cringy compilation of black men in suits and shit, like stepping out of cars. <laughs> Fucking losers. Salute to JL, man. He says my engagement for the evening. You guys are worth it. Salute to JL, man. JL in the building, man. Shout out to JL. Um, you know, it, it's not okay in that sense. As of August 2020, the app had about 100 million Yo, active they're monthly. literally going on TikTok. Like, just because you can, they have such great editing tools that someone could possibly do blackface in a really cool way. That is in yo, that's crazy. So if think about it, gliders are one want to get rid of TikTok because they don't like what it's doing to their kids, man. You could just sick us on this on it. You could use us. This is your way. This is your out for TikTok, white people. Well, the big problem with TikTok is there's a lot of noticing of the juice crew going on and information spreading about them and that's the main reason they want to get rid of it mm. I the users that. in the u.s parham says with numbers so large it's no surprise that the content coming from creators mirrors the surrounding world including its janky ideologies blemishes and all like the george floyd challenge that captured users reenacting floyd's death by putting a knee on another human's neck. And in America, we are specifically sort of bound by race. Yo, you talk about some dudes that I will never work in. Yo, <laughs> yo they won't let these dudes shovel shit, yo. <laughs> the dirt for each other. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> my God. Yo, they won't be able to scrape the gum off of a sidewalk for bro. a living, man. Bro, and the, <laughs> bro, you know they found the black dude on the uh, on the left one, bro. They were like, what the fuck? That's a black dude that fucking participated in this shit. Yo, that black dude fine, though. He can, he, he, he can, he can do anything. His, all this oh, no, he's going to take. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I was just saying, they probably just going to troll the black people online, probably going to call him a coon and all that shit. Yeah, they going to call him a coon and shit, but he's still good. He can go to any, he can go anywhere and be, he can participate in, in the world in any way. These, these white boys right here, they are, yo, if this white boy could throw a fucking football 200 yards, <laughs> he still wouldn't be fucking able to get a scholarship. <laughs> If he, damn. <laughs> Yo, man, straight up, man. Yo, listen, man, straight up. Well, it's death by putting a knee on another human's neck. And in America, we are specifically sort of bound by race and racism, right? It's the sort of American problem that we're never going to be able to get rid of. And so I think TikTok sort of mirrors that directly. TikTok is built on appropriation. TikTok is built on mimicking something that somebody else already did or something that already exists. And I think the sort of problem with digital blackface is that it, it comes into the equation where we're taking black identity and black culture expression from its original context and we're twisting it and we're estranging it so much. And here's the thing, this guy right here, he's like a, so smart and shit in his little circle and shit. But this dude is fucking moron, man. A literal fucking airhead. <laughs> but he's like the smartest person. Like people, some people probably brag on him and shit. That's off the top, much that's off the way that he talks. They probably like, oh shit, he's one of the, the smart ones. Brother's deep. 
mockery, so much to the point of laughter for people who simply just want to go viral, people who simply want fame and clout. Perrin points to three egregious instances of digital blackface that he's consistently seen across the platform. First up, the hot Cheeto girl. You want some? Did you pay it all for them? You got any hot Cheetos? This projection of this sort of low income black or Latin, Latina youth who maybe, you know, lives in a bad neighborhood and comes up in a, in a bad way, but she has this sort of swagger about- Bad neighborhood, you mean a black neighborhood? <laughs> her, and so you began to see a lot of young white kids put tape around their fingernails. They would have a hot Cheeto bag. They would have these giant hoop earrings. They were mimicking this sort of hood rat archetype that they thought was, you know, this around the way girl. Then there are the white teens who mimic the well-known characters from Bravo's Real Housewives franchise. The ghetto. The ghetto. This is where you live. Huh? Let me see what's going on. Oh, Melvin, yeah, show me around. Ooh. Especially Atlanta Housewives, which I think have become the sort of most volcanic characters in the franchise that people want to mimic. And so people were looping audio of Nini, audio of Phaedra, so, audio of so here's the thing. The WNBA, the most popular player now is a white girl, and that's terrible, right? It's the worst thing in the world. In the Housewives series, they got Housewives of this, Housewives of that. The, the most popular Housewives are the black girls, and that's also the worst thing in the world. Well, I was about to say, uh, <laughs> at first he said they're mocking uh, – low-income <laughs> black people, but then they, he's mad that he they're mocking pe black people that feature on TV shows, too. What, like, y'all got to pick one, bro. Like, are they mocking the ghetto-ass niggas, or are they mocking the, the up... Because these upper-income... These niggas that's winning. Yeah, exactly. Which one is it, bro? We know the income doesn't change all that much. We know that. Yeah, I mean the the income doesn't change. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Facts it doesn't change um, the DNA. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you well, you can see that from hip hop, but but um, but yeah, um, this is this is crazy, man. They should be like, like, so so if the Housewives series of all the Housewives series, the most popular Housewives was the Housewives of Maine or the Housewives of Boise, Idaho. Then they would be like, what about the Housewives of Atlanta? Yeah, yeah, you can't win. <laughs> no, you can't win that. You, you know what but they were noticed, like the, the Housewives of Atlanta, like the, the behavior is the same, like jealous, vindictive, like mean, just like just terrible people with money, essentially. Like it's, it's the same it, thing. It's the same type of black person, just with more disposable income and more yeah. bougie. Exactly, more agency. S salute the baby king, man, on um on um Rumble, man. Shout out to Baby King on Rumble. We got almost the same amount of viewers on Rumble as we do on YouTube, man. That's crazy, man. Um, Shout out Rumble. Yeah. We're looping audio of Nini, audio of Phaedra, audio of Kenya, and inhabiting this sort of sassiness. Count the ten, let me breathe. But even more menacing is the How's My Form Challenge, created by a white kid named Carter Rickett. They're so they're Yo, hot. they're doxing these white kids. Yo, that's a kid, man. Why you have to give his name? How's My Form Challenge, created by a white kid named Carter Rickett. They're so very hot. challenge or the, the video has a three-act structure, right? It begins with a statement. And so let's say the statement is, what restaurant has the best fried chicken? And then the second frame is, now that all my Black people are here, because stereotypically Black folks like fried chicken. And then the third frame is, how's my form? Ladies, hot. They're so very hot. So much thanks to my social that challenge in particular wasn't specifically confined to 
you know, just black identity. You saw, you know, all types of creators making fun of Latino folks, making fun of Asian folks, making fun of Middle Eastern folks, and the sort of racial stereotypes that they deal with on the daily. But don't get it twisted. Black TikTokers weren't putting up with harassment without a fight. The creators are reporting the bigotry, duetting the bigotry. Oh, so they're, they're reporting people's, oh shit. Yo, I fucking, bro, send people, bro. <laughs> oh. Look, look, don't, don't, don't show the sun racist TikToks. I'm sure I bet. That's what I'm, yo, nobody impersonates other groups of people more than sun people, bro. Stereotypes, people like this. It'd be different if this was coming from like Asians or something. Cause I don't, I don't usually see him doing shit like this, bro. But sun people, not y'all, sure, bro. Not y'all. Sure. Sun women are like openly bigoted. Like they just, they're like they're like yeah. openly racist, oh, openly hateful. Like that's just like normal to them. Yeah, they they um their whole existence is seen through the lens of race, man. Um. That's why they vote for the Democratic Party 97% because the the Republican Party is the party of white people. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. My, my sister called the Republicans the ops, bro. <laughs> Duetting the bigotry. Or the situation and all you racist white people want to delete it. And uploading more of a new content Crying. to re the bigotry. That creators on this app have had enough. So we switched our pictures, put our fists up just to say what's up. And Parham said some black creators were silenced for speaking out against it's racism on the app. Real talk. Is there a solution to digital blackface on TikTok? I don't know if there is a solution to what's happening on TikTok in terms of digital blackface. But I, feel, I do think TikTok management could do a better job of policing with sort of dangerous sort of practices. So, so more police. So, wow. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. Like, you got to let other groups of people, like, vent their frustrations. If we can't do it in person and face-to-face when sons act a fool, where else are we going to do it? Look, look, at the end of the day, I, I think right. that some people are overly represented anyway. In media, social media, they are. Definitely. Bro, sons of... Go pro police. 